If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this episode 10 of Performance Engineering series, today we are going to talk about deadlock. So what is deadlock? This is the official definition from Oracle Docs. So it describes a situation where two or more threads are blocked forever waiting for each other. So here the keyword is two or more threads which are blocked and it will wait each other. So this situation will create the deadlock in your application. So in buggy app, you can simulate this problem by passing the argument problem underscore deadlock. To simply put, assume that you have two threads running, thread A and thread B. When you start your Java application, thread A will acquire the lock on the resource foo. The resource could be any object. And then it is, uh, say it is sleeping for about 10 seconds. And then it is trying to acquire the another resource called bar. Meanwhile, thread B also will start running, which will acquire the resource bar and then it will sleep for say 10 seconds and then it is trying to acquire the resource foo. But the foo is already acquired by thread A. Similarly, the bar is acquired by thread B. Now what will happen? You will get the deadlock situation in your application. So each thread will try to acquire the other resource, but that resource will be blocked by the some other thread. So in this case, thread A or thread B or vice versa. So this situation called deadlock, you can lock the particular resource using the keyword called synchronized. So whenever you have the method synchronized, only one thread can access that particular block of code. If some other thread is trying to acquire, it cannot. It will go to the blocked status. Because whenever a thread is trying to acquire the synchronized resource, it will put a lock. Only that thread can access that particular piece of code. So other thread has to wait till the thread completes the particular uh, block of execution. Let us go back to the Blackboard to understand this concept further. So in this Blackboard, I have created a simple uh, application which has the uh, two threads, thread A and thread B. So when you start the application, thread A will acquire the resource A and then it will uh, go to sleep for about 10 seconds. Meanwhile, thread B will acquire the resource B and then it will go to sleep for 10 seconds. So once the uh, sleep is done in the uh, thread A, then it will try to acquire the resource B which is also synchronized. But the B resource is already acquired by thread B and it will not be able to acquire that resource because there is a lock in it. Now that thread will go to the blocked status. Similarly, thread B also after the sleep, it will try to acquire the resource A, but resource A will be acquired by thread A. Again, it will go to the blocked status. So this situation will create the deadlock in your application. So to demonstrate further, let us go to uh, IntelliJ. So here I have created some uh, ugly code. This is a hypothetical uh, scenario, which I designed only to explain the concept of a deadlock. So here we have the resource, uh, say customer name and the resource uh, order ID. And I have created uh, two threads, T1 and T2. So when you start executing this uh, T1 and T2, so here uh, line number 45 and 46, it will start the thread. So first it will acquire the uh, customer name and then it will go to sleep for 10 seconds. Then it will try to acquire the order ID. So this is for T1. Similarly, T2 will acquire the order ID and it will try to acquire the customer name. So this situation will create the deadlock. Now let us uh, run this particular snippet. So in the command prompt, you can see the output. So which thread is acquiring what and what thread is running at the moment. So as you see, the thread is currently running is uh, thread one, which is first uh, thread and thread zero. Thread one acquired the order ID and thread zero acquired uh, the order uh, customer name. But again, it is try to acquire the other resource. So it will fight for the resource, but eventually it will go to the deadlock situation. So now this code will keep on running until we terminate the application. So this will cause the issue whenever you have this kind of situation in your Java application. Now we can see how we can identify the issue using the buggy app. Now let me uh, stop this uh, execution. Now let us go back to the terminal. 
in the right side uh, we are running y crash and in the left side let us uh, start running the uh, buggy app so you have to pass uh, the jar file buggy and then you have to pass the argument uh, problem underscore deadlock and hit enter now let us uh, launch a visual vm and here you can see the buggy app dot jar and just uh, double click or right click and open the java process now if you go to the uh, threads tab here the visual vm automatically detected the deadlock uh, situation here it is displaying the deadlock detected and take a thread dump to get more info so now let us analyze the live threads so if you see the live threads at the end we have two threads thread 0 and thread 1 and the color of this particular thread is monitor which means blocked so the thread 0 is blocked and the thread 1 also blocked because it is trying to access the resource which are locked by the other threads so now this leads to deadlock so now to analyze further what we can do we let us take the uh, thread dump so here there is a button called a thread dump just to click on it so this will uh, take the thread dump so no need to take the heap dump so heap dump is only to analyze the objects in the heap since the uh, issue is with respect to the threads we have to take the thread dump here and let us uh, right click on the thread dump and save as now let us give a name uh, deadlock.tdump and click on save now what we can do let us uh, go back to y crash but before that here also you can identify the uh, issue so if you just uh, scroll to the end and it will automatically display found one java level deadlock so here you can see thread 0 waiting to lock monitor which is held by thread 1 similarly thread 1 waiting to lock monitor which is held by thread 0 and uh, at the bottom also you can see the stack information so this deadlock.hotobject.method2 waiting to lock for the class again uh, hot object and similarly you can see the uh, thread 1 also it is displaying a similar message so it is automatically displaying the found one deadlock message so whenever you see this then definitely you have to go back to the code and see how you can enhance the situation now let us go to the browser and go to y crash and to upload the incident just click on the upload incident and click on individual upload and let us give a name so here uh, say buggy app and host ip is uh, localhost and here we have to click on a thread dump just to click on this uh, choose file and here uh, we have the uh, thread dump uh, called deadlock.tdump so you have to zip it so right click and go to your whichever archive software you're using and create the zip file and select the zip file and click on open and then analyze now y crash is automatically displaying the application is suffering from deadlock and these are the threads so just click on this link which will take you to the uh, threads so here thread 0 is in deadlock with thread 1 again the same error message whatever we have seen in the visual vm it is displaying here and if you want to see in detail you can just scroll down and uh, if you just uh, keep on scrolling you can see uh, blocked status here so if you want to see the stack trace you can just uh, click on the uh, stack trace here so this will display the line number which line number has issue and uh, other details so this is how we find the deadlock in the java application and fix the uh, issue by code refactoring so that your application will run in the production smoothly so that's it guys on my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching have a good day if you would like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel